Hey yo, what's up you guys? So uh I know I've been doing videos like all week, but the thing is I am actually worried that I won't post tomorrow because I know me. I know I won't post tomorrow because it's Friday. It is Friday, and unless I get an action figure, I'm gonna record in here again because that was fun actually. Um I don't think I'm going to talk about anything. I know I was going to review in there, but that's only because if I walk in there. Uh, as you can see, I'm just watching YouTube on my Xbox. So, uh, I don't really know what to talk about. Like, I was actually planning on vlogging earlier, where it was still bright out. Um, I'm gonna close this. Uh, but I do want to talk about, like, I don't know. I just want to kind of talk Star Wars for a little bit. I know I've been talking it for a long time. But right now, it seems like the only thing I'm really into because Marvel. Yeah, I'm I'm big into Marvel still. So I'm probably gonna get Marvel Legend, Marvel Legends. I'm hoping, like, unless I see something really special or I decide that I want to get a Star Wars Black Series tomorrow, I'm hoping that I'm gonna get a Marvel Legend for the Thanos Build a Figure Wave. Uh, at least one, because that way. Uh, I could just stay with the 40, grab the other two right away, and then, yeah, so, but, uh, I just want to show my, uh, story this way, I guess, um, I don't know, ooh, I am surprised nobody fell down. Wow. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I don't know. Well, I don't know if you can actually see it. But I have the blaster that I originally gave to Poe. It's kind of warped. But I'm get, I'm just laying it on the ground uh, next to the snow trooper. Because I'm assuming that's the one from the snow trooper. And that way it's kind of like, well, if you see him, you know that's what he also comes with. But also it kind of just looks cool. Because like it kind of looks like, you know... Someone once had that blaster or something like that. Whatever. I, I'm going way too deep into it. Uh, but. Okay. So I have a question. I just figure out what, what the question of the day is today. Uh, okay. If you were in the Empire. What type of trooper, pilot, driver, whatever. Would you be? Personally. If it's a trooper, probably the Scarab slash Shore Trooper. I just love their armor, and I think they look cool. And I mainly would want to be the officer or captain, because he has those markings, and he's got that extra, like, extended thing of the gun. And if it's a driver, probably the ATACT driver, because same thing, armor, uh, markings, and all that. But, uh... Just in case you wonder what I do in my free time, I watch YouTube. <laughs> uh, so like I said, I'm hoping this weekend I can get together with a friend. Um, we can record something of you. So, um... If you're wondering why my dad's not here, it's because... There was like some picture thing that I got from my school today. Because, you know, school pictures... And he's taking that over to my mom's so she can sign or whatever with that. Uh, but I do want to ask you uh, guys a question. Uh, what action figure review are you looking forward to seeing on my channel? If you're into action figures... And whatnot. Uh, mainly Star Wars because that's all I can think of right now. But I, I will accept a Marvel Legend too. Uh, but I guess those are two questions of the day. 
I really don't know what to talk about. Like... <laughs> mm. I had some, like, things that I want to talk about Battlefront 2, but, like, since I can't record it and I can't figure out how to, like, like, not have it, like, oh, this is the view that Daniel has. It's not that actually, like, you're in it or whatever. But, I guess, like, my one idea was basically that I think they need to add Scarif as a map. They did it for the first one. Why can't they do it for the second one? But anyways, uh... Um... I, I just, I really don't know what to talk about. Um... Okay. Actually, I just thought of something. I'm gonna tell you some of the stories of how I got figures. You already know my ATACT one, uh, which is basically, I was like, went to Walmart and well, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, it's a Target exclusive, by the way, uh, if you ever want to get it. Uh, and if you're ever looking for a figure to start off with, <sighs> troopers are probably like the easiest figures to get, but if you really want like a centerpiece to start off with, start with a Jedi or a Sith. Uh, guess ones that you can start off with is like Darth Vader or Rey or Luke Skywalker if you can find them. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to talk about stories. Hopefully that works. I have this with me for whatever reason. So, uh, start with the first one. I'm not going to go over any of the recent ones because there wasn't really a big story behind it. And some of the ones that don't have a big story behind it. Uh, I guess I'll start off with Commander Wolf, because it's not a big story, but I kind of just want to mention it. Uh, basically, we were in Fargo at the time. Um, we just came from Target, where I got my Carnage and my Storm. That's it, I think. Yeah, my Carnage and Storm. And I was playing with this Carnage, and I was just, like, absolutely loving it. Uh... And then, we go to Barnes & Noble. I love going to Barnes & Noble. I love reading. Uh, so, probably should pick up on that book. Hmm. Uh, and so, we're getting there. And, like, we're walking around. And we walked around. I walked around the area where I usually see the action figures. Which is kind of like the collectibles and some of the toys and stuff. Well then, like, there's this big section in the back. It's like a brand new section. Or a section that I've never seen before anyways, if I was, if it was there before. And I'm walking around, you know, and I'm looking to see if there's... Because it was the anime section, and I won't say I was into this anime at the time. Uh, or... Or was somewhat into the anime. It's not like the anime as you think of. Well, partly. It's definitely a darker anime. Uh, called Helsing or Helsing Ultimate. Uh, I'm not going to really explain the call. Uh, if you want to learn more about it, just search it up. There's also the Bridge series that started me off with it. But uh, Anyways. So I'm walking through there. Me and my friend Zach, who was also into that anime at the time. Uh, we were looking through. And we were just looking through uh, you know, the books. And so we're walking around. I see this action figure on the, sh on like, I don't know if it was a peg or whatnot. They usually don't use pegs. I see it and I'm like, I know I was like clapping for like, that was the third time now. Uh, and I just was like, yes. And I'm like, yes, 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 yes. I was so happy because I knew I still had enough money to pay for it. Uh, but at first I did kind of, I did kind of debate because it was like, yeah, but what if I see a really cool Marvel Legend? Because I was into Marvel at the time, you know? Well, 
And that was the fourth time I clapped. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Uh, I go with the pay for it, and that's basically it. I, I just fell in love with that figure. Uh, okay. We'll start off, and then we'll go to... Uh, First Order Snowtrooper. Because that has a decent story behind it. So, I do want to mention, though... Uh, the Toys R Us exclusive Snowtrooper isn't the same as this one. That's the Officer, which I'm actually hoping to get because it kind of, you know, I can have a diversity, I guess. Uh, so we were, it was in, Far, I was in Fargo at this time too. And it was like, I can't remember who I got it before I saw The Force Awakens or after I saw The Force Awakens. I think it was after. Uh, we saw some scenes with the snow troopers, but not too many. The real time with Sion was in the last Jedi, but I, 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 were, I go to Toys R Us, um, and I'm like, I go through the Star Wars section, and I see that figure, and I'm like, instantly getting that, and that's the fifth time I've got now. I don't know why I did that. And my mom, shout out to my mom for this, was so nice. It was like, uh, like I think it was actually close to my birthday at the time. Because I think it was like a year after uh, The Force Awakens came out. And that was the first figure of my Star Wars Black Series. And, I, and my mom was so nice. She got me that. Or actually, I don't know if it was close to my birthday. But I just knew it was after when The Force Awakens came out. Because it was during the spring or slash summer. Uh... And that's how it started it all. Yeah. Um. The Death Trooper, I guess, will be pretty simple. Uh, so, this was after I saw Rogue One. And I love the Death Troopers. I love the way they look. Uh, I went to go see it with the, my dad and... His group of friends who happened to have kids who were also my friends. We all went to see it and it was just like, wow. It was a good movie. It was a good Star Wars story. And so, you know, I saw the Death Troopers and then one day I go to Walmart, you know, I see the J director Krennic. I think I see, I think I saw uh, Captain Cassian, I saw some, uh, saw some CR Troopers, uh, I think I saw Jen Urso, uh, but basically, I'm there, and I saw that figure, and I thought it was really cool. But it was towards Christmas, and my parents wouldn't let me get anything. So, Christmas comes around. I'm with my mom. The first thing I open was that. And I hugged her so hard because it was like, I love this character. I love the way it looks. I thought it was cool and everything. But, uh, yeah, so that was a Christmas gift. I'm not going to tell any stories because it's getting close to the end of the video. Uh, sorry this was kind of a boring video. If you want to hear more stories about how I got my action figures, I know it's kind of weird. But I do have some meaning behind them. Uh, let me know. I do have some interesting stories from my Marvel Legend ones. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, peace out.